Hello and welcome to this latest edition of Undercover Kitty. Um, today I'm on my mobile phone because I'm running around a little bit, but I wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about something that happened over the weekend. And that is Justin Trudeau's alleged major security scare. Well, as, as we know, I mean, yes, he's, not, he's popular by some people, he's disliked by others. But by no means, nobody's interested in taking him out. So what was this security scare about? And what, what actually happened? And how does this work? Uh, let me explain a, a little bit of this. First of all, when a prime minister travels anywhere, we have here in Canada the RCMP Protective Services Division, which is basically equivalent to the U.S.'s Secret Service. These, these people here, these uh, dedicated police officers, do nothing but protect prime, the prime minister and the other high-end uh, dignitaries. That's that's the job, and they're very good at it. Uh, some people say they're actually better at, at it than even the secret services. Uh, th that's that's uh, a debate for another time, but yes, they're very good at it. So, what really happens here, and what happens when the prime minister travels? Well, when the Prime Minister travels, regardless of whether it's a short trip or not, there's always what is known as an advanced team that shows up. An advanced team is a, is a small group of officers who go there well in advance of the Prime Minister's arrival. And what they do, they come in with sniffer dogs and a whole bunch of other stuff, and they check the uh, venue to make sure that it's all clear and secure. Now, in this particular case, because this happened then in, in an interior event, and it was uh, well... Um, known well in advance that he was going to go there officers would have been there for quite a while doing a full security sweep with like i said the stiffer dogs electronic counter surveillance uh, countermeasures things like that so they obviously would have found something if they were really true but it wasn't they didn't find anything so these officers or other officers will come in and they will stay at that venue and secure the area, making sure that only people who are accredited to go in and out of the facility actually do that now. Again, there was no issue there. Now, Prime Minister goes in, apparently, and they're saying that there was about an hour and a half wait because of a major security scare. People, there was no security scare. Here's, the, here's why there wasn't. If there was one, the, size, the scale of what they were saying Okay. There would have been literally dozens upon dozens of emergency vehicles ranging from ambulances, fire, to a phalanx of police vehicles there in and around the area that would have sealed off the entire area blocks around. You would have heard about that. Even the CBC would have reported something. Nothing. So, okay, let's, let's for the sake of argument, say that the media was told not to report. Well, Joe Schmo would have seen something, <coughs> excuse me, and they would have reported something. Nothing. So, there's one strike right there. Now, we go inside the event late, and you have, uh, and you see the Prime Minister inside with what appeared to be two uh, uh, bodyguards, for lack of a better description, wearing green shirts and backpacks. People, listen. No officer or anybody like that in protective detail is going to carry a sidearm or some sort of a weapon in a backpack that will take several seconds to deploy and, and use. By that time, your assailant, if you actually had an assailant, would have managed to fire off half a dozen shots minimum. So, those yes, there may well have been firearms in those backpacks. No, I'm not saying there weren't. It was just for show. Those two guys that you did see in the green, um, it's unclear as to whether they were JTF-2 from, uh, from our military or whether they were RCMP uh, Tactical Services Branch. But again, the flaw in that is that there was a, an opening in there big enough to build an airport through between the two officers and Trudeau. Again, not in the least was there a security concern. So he puts on a bulletproof vest. No problem. You know, that's that that's sounds like a pretty decent plan on the surface. Um, where was his family? So apparently the you know, Sophie and the, the kids were whisked out of there. Fair enough. But if there was a security concern, 
why were all the guests in there? Those hundreds of potential assassins allowed to stay in there unchecked. Hundreds of potential assassins in direct proximity <coughs> excuse me, to the Prime Minister while a couple of guards are standing by. Well, there's a few, a few there, of course. I'm being somewhat facetious, of course, but there's a few guards there standing around watching this all happen. They didn't evacuate the room. Did they search everybody? Well, no reports of that happening, so we have to say no. But there is Trudeau in a bulletproof vest. Guys, this was a publicity stunt. Why was this a publicity stunt? Great question, I'm glad you asked. It was a publicity stunt because, remember, he wants to, to disarm Canadians entirely. And by putting on a bulletproof vest and suggesting that there was a major security alert, what better way to condition the public that this is something that happens on, a, on, a, on a, an irregularly regular basis and we just can't have this in Canada. So we have to don our Prime Minister with, with bulletproof vests in order to make sure that our country is safe while the hundreds of other people in there don't really matter because you know, if you're going to shoot them, well, go ahead, shoot them. But as long as the Prime Minister is safe, except for the small gap of uh, enough to build an airport between the security guys there. But yeah, minor, minor, that's just a minor detail, wasn't it? So, next time you see something like that, it, you know, ask questions because there is no way in hell that was a real scare. Anybody who thinks it's a real scare hasn't lived in Canada long enough to know what these guys actually do and how good they are at what they do. If there was a security threat, if that security threat would have been caught hours and hours ago and the event would have been cancelled even if the prime minister himself were to say that no go ahead the rcmp still does have final say as to whether or not an event is cancelled or not for security reasons so that's the way it is it wasn't cancelled it wasn't slowed down it was delayed for show another one of trudeau's little theatrics thinking he maybe he thinks it's halloween or something and pull a fast one on somebody i don't know but the guy, I mean, obviously he's a bumbling idiot and likes to have attention. And what better way to get attention than to put on a bulletproof vest and, Oh, I'm so scared. Look at all these gun-toting people. Oh, I don't, although I don't really care about the 400 others that are there, but I'm so scared. Well, it's Trudeau. Here's what you should be scared about. You should be afraid of losing the election and going back to being a drama teacher, which, by the way, you weren't very good at. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye for now.